Saint Celestine, the revered living saint of the Adeptus Sororitas, who was said to be brought back to life by the Emperor himself so that she could do his bidding. I have her model here and it was a very special gift to me and I've been putting off painting it for too long so I decided today I would go about painting Saint Celestine herself and her two sidekicks. I was very generously gifted the Dark Star Molten Metals box here to play around with and see how I liked it. And I thought this is the perfect opportunity not only to finish this gift, but also try out this new line of paints. And I'm super excited to try it out. This box comes with a wide variety of both metallic paints, washes, thinner so you can use it through your airbrush and some gemstone colors. The package came with a really nice letter that explains how it works, how to use it and so on and also a tiny little recipe on how to do a good gold metal look. And Saint Celestine herself is wearing all gold plated armor and her wings have gold plating on the very top of them. So I'm going to be trying out the formula that they had here on their paper and we'll see how it looks. But first and most importantly, we need to put together her sidekick sisters, the Gemini Superior, because Celestine ain't nothing without those girls. Trust me, you don't want her alone without her Feel No Pain 4 Plus. They are an essential part of her kit. So once they're all put together, we can start painting. So funny story, I was halfway through airbrushing their primer in black and Celestine's wing just fell off. Like the pressure of the wind made it come off from the airbrush. I guess she wasn't put together right because I built her like weeks ago. So it wasn't like I just made them like the other two girls. <laughs> um, so I had to stop everything I was doing and re-glue on her wing and it wasn't setting right. And I wasted so much time doing that. And I always get so frustrated because I only have so much time to work on these. And then when these things happen, it's just like, ugh, it's so frustrating. Her wing is set. It's doesn't look like it's in the right spot. Like the joints, if you look at it from the top down, don't look like they match on either wing. But I have no idea how they were supposed to fit. At least from like the front view, you know, her wings look fine, but don't look at it from any other angle. <laughs> I miss push fit. I do. But now they're all gold. It comes out really, really nice from the airbrush. I had to raise the pressure a little bit so that it came out smoother because it was just coming out without enough paint. And I'm pretty sure I definitely thinned it down enough. Like it looked the same consistency that I usually use for my airbrush. So little fun fact there. But now I'm going to continue on with their little formula that they had for gold. It started off with a royal gold and then you wash it with Victorian Pallor. It's one of their washes that they have for them. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the usual steps of after the wash, I'm gonna re-add in that same royal gold to make it shine a little bit more and then do the edge highlights with their even lighter gold color, which is called braid gold. So um, let's try them out. I'm super excited. Let's go.
it's the end of day one and I finished all the gold and did a lot of base colors put on. Uh, the gold looks beautiful, shining. It looks really nice and looks really smooth and I'm super happy with it. But uh, Celestine's wings are just so messed up. They, they're falling off and now that there's paint on it, I probably should have fixed it completely before I even started painting. You can't, you can't touch her wings or else they just start moving and falling off, which is super frustrating and uh, I don't know what I can do to fix it now at this point. I think it's too late. I'm hoping the paint and whatever glue is there and I just don't touch her wings will be enough for me to be able to play with her without uh, her falling apart completely on me. Besides that though, the painting process is going well enough. You know, I've got the reds on, I've got the blacks on. I put black on of the places where there'll be silver so that way it's not a weird silver gold. I'm just gonna go with the box art color scheme because my Sisters of Battle are sort of just a classic chapter charter thing. They're, they're nothing special. And I chose the Order of the Sacred Rose for my army, which I realized was a really difficult color scheme because they're all basically just white. That's a whole other mess for another time because I like double primed them because I primed them in black first and then chose the Sacred Rose. So then I primed them in white and now there's too much white and it is too thick. It's a mess, but that's a mess for future Mel. Today, I'm just excited to have Celestine shining and done and ready to play with the next time I fight with them. They were a lot of fun. She was a lot of fun to use last time. So I'm excited to get her back on the field again and painted and beautiful. So I will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully finish them all up tomorrow. So yeah, see you then. So I'm about through day two and a half. I've gotten so much done. I think she's definitely gonna be done today. I just have to do some small little details and that's it. Oh, and basing, of course, can't forget the basing. There are a few things that I'm not super happy with. I think it's just cause my hands get shaky and I need better control of where I want the paint and stuff like that. Like the wings seem really dusty looking, like I didn't thin down the paints enough. I think this is definitely one of those models where I should have maybe painted the wings separately first and then glued them on because it would have worked super well to do like a dry brushing or something like that, but they're so flimsy and the, she's so wobbly that I, I can't hold her enough to actually do that. So it's a little frustrating, but you know, they, they look good enough at three feet. 
you know, they look good. Also the capes for all the girls, the washes always make it look extra glossy. It pools in places I don't want to. Even after I try to smoothly and evenly put it everywhere, I just don't like the way washes look on a cape. I, either I'm not very good at doing washes, which is probably true, but also like, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good. I really, really want to practice getting better at capes because I feel like a nice, clean, crisp looking cape really makes a piece stand out. Like you see really nice billowing capes and if they look really well done, it just, I feel like that really completes the thing. So right now they look just dirty. <laughs> like she's just, like literally put her cape through the mud. And she's too pristine for something like that, you know? She's so angelic and holy that a dirty cape just doesn't fit her aesthetic at all. It's, you know, it's a little too late. I tried fixing it. And unless I wanna go and like redo her entire cape, which I don't have time to do, I think she's just gonna have to have a dirty looking cape and the emperor is not gonna be too pleased. But yeah, what's really left is to finish highlighting the doves and to do some cool like text on their like floating pages, I guess. I don't know what I would call them. The things that make it look like she's flying while she's actually on the stand and the base. So we'll finish that tonight. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Celestine, the living saint, is complete. And she looks so cool, just so cool. So like I said before, her cape and her wings look good from afar, but up close, I'm not a huge fan of how they turned out, but I love her skin. And honestly, the highlight of all of this is this beautiful gold armor. Like, it looks cool in camera, but I'm telling you guys, it looks really, really good in person. Like, it shines. I think it's such a cool, rich gold color. I'm super excited to try out what other things I could paint this way. Like, what if I could make all my sisters gold? That would be so cool. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with her and I'm glad I finally painted her because this was such a special gift to me. I think I needed to do her justice. Let me know if you think I did. I know this sounds silly or cliche, but it's really cool painting girl figures. I love just the look of them, the theme of them. I'm a huge fan of like their tanks, which are like these giant cathedral things. They're my favorite vehicles in all of Warhammer. They're the main army that I battle with and I'm so happy to get another one of them done for my collection. I did basing, I did it. You can see it there. They just got little leaves and stuff. It looks really cool. I am super impressed with the Dark Star medals. I'm definitely gonna be using these medals from here on out. They just come out so good, especially through the airbrush. They look just smooth and perfect, but also using just my normal paintbrush, like on the guns and the swords, it also came out really even, really smooth, super easy to use, and I couldn't be happier with them. Like, I'd, I'd always get frustrated with the way that my true metallics looked, and this just blew it out of the park, and I'm super excited to keep using them. So thank you again, Darkstar, for sending me these paints, and everyone else, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.